Hi there, Simon from Manchester Wine School here. I, I don't know if I've got a slightly, slightly pink face. It's been a uh, rather uh, lovely sunny day. So my exercise for the day has been going out, going out for a walk with uh, uh, wife and daughter. And now I'm just, there's some chicken marinating here. What have we got in here? We've got a bit of garam masala, we've got a bit of salt and pepper, we've got some olive oil, garlic. Um, and that's going to be something for later. Uh, whereas for now, um, Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand. Um, now, Sauvignon Blanc, I have to say, it's one of those grapes that um, I'm of the Hugh Johnson point of view, and his, his line with Sauvignon Blanc was, Sauvignon Blanc is a, uh, like one of those uh, people who likes to sing but can't. Sometimes I compare it to a Jack Russell. Is that fair? I mean, Jack Russells are sort of like, they can be lovely and affectionate, but sometimes they're a bit yappy and shrieky. Um, but there are exceptions. And uh, there are some wonderful exceptions from the Loire Valley. There are some wonderful exceptions from Friuli in Italy. There are wonderful exceptions from all parts of the world. And of course, uh, a lot of people think of New Zealand when they, they think of New Zealand Sauvignon. And, um, and there are exceptions within, uh, within New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc from the mere fresh grassy. And nothing wrong with fresh and grassy, but a diet of it sort of gets... I'm not a sheep. I just want. I don't want to eat fresh grass all the time. Um, but these guys here, Dog Point, Dog Point usually do a pretty good job with their Sauvignon. So this is the Dog Point um, 2019 Sauvignon. If you don't know Dog Point, it was set up by um, two thirds of the team who make who made Cloudy Bay famous. Um, so oh, I've got my glass there. I'll just dribble it on the floor. Um, and um, they, this is their regular Sauvignon. They've got a uh, an upper tier one that's called a Section ninety four, which I'll probably do in one of these videos uh, very soon. Um, but for the meantime, what is the regular Sauvignon like? Let's have a sniff. So I stick my nose in there, and the first thing I smell isn't a mouthful of gooseberries, asparagus, and uh, grassiness. It's quite lean and quite restrained, um, and it almost feels like uh, it's a wine that, whereas there's some, there'll be some 2019 Sauvignons that are all sort of singing and dancing and going, hello, come and get me. This one still feels curled up and uh, not shy, but it feels like there is substance here, but it's substance that really needs a little bit of a chance to come out. I hesitate to use the word M for minerally uh, about it, but there is certainly something here that speaks of rocks and stones and uh, yes there's some fruit there but it's um, almost like ripe apples and, uh, and yes there's some citrus in there but um, uh, not your average Sauvignon it smells like. They come to taste it it's lovely sappy juicy has me going has me smacking my lips and going I want a little bit more of that um, and it's not because it's immediately in your face fruity it's got this stoniness it's got this sleekness about it so it's got the pungency, it's got the perfume, and um, but it also feels like it's got the interest. Um, I, sometimes I describe Sauvignon as a three-chord wine. Here, um, it feels to have got a few grace notes in there. Maybe it's still, the, it's not the most complex of wines, but it feels like something that is going to sustain the interest down to the bottom of the bottle, rather than just the first um, half inch or so at the, the top. I'm going to have another slug. And yeah, texture as well. Uh, almost like a saline character about it. Um, it just came, it makes me want to pour a little bit more in my glass and, uh, uh, and, and have some more immediately. Uh, whereas some Sauvignons, I sort of go, ah, okay, I've done that, move on to the next one. Now here's something that I want to keep coming back to. Um, so I won't keep coming back to it now because I've got to, uh, uh, I think it's the chicken salad we're on tonight. I'm not sure what else is going to be in there apart from chicken. Um, more chicken maybe, but... Uh, I'll see if I can find something uh, vaguely salady uh, to uh, uh, that, that, that will this this will be an appropriate accompaniment for. I think I'm going to have a good evening. Hope you're having a good evening, whatever you're up to. See you soon.